Lincoln Northeasterner would would do that. Yeah. Because it's well, this one floated out towards center field. De La Cruz racing in, sliding, and he has a catch. This is the first ball that's actually been put in play. <laughs> that's true. Here comes De La Cruz on his horse. Nice job as an outfielder. That's what you want to do. You want to get your glove underneath the baseball as it comes down. You get your legs out in front. Let yourself slide across the top of the grass and make a nice catch. Cabrera agrees. Now set for a 1 2 pitch with Hayes off of second. And a swing and a miss. So the guy that doesn't strike out very much changes and chases a curveball. They will check, and Angel says Reynolds went around. So a strikeout. Swing and a miss. And Cabrera gets three strikeouts in the first inning. Right there, a strikeout. Cortez throws to first. That one a 97 for a called strike three. So a big strikeout, his fifth. Already a new career high, and this is fifth major league start, but there are two away. You get ahead, they're going to really open it up. Another one, two, and a swing and a miss. He goes to the slider to get the strikeout. His sixth, 60th pitch of the outing. Is a called strike three. As Perez did, in fact, go around. Either way, strikeout number seven for Cabrera. It's a day game, a Sunday day game. Yeah. Oh boy, Nick Fortes, fly ball, left field. It's gone! First major league home run for Nick Fortes. Marlins are on the board. Yeah, the Marlins offense has needed a wake up call. How about Nick Fortes in his big league debut? Well, he's checking off a few boxes now at his first big league hit, and now this. Yeah, he didn't give the bench a, an, an opportunity to think about it. Like, hey, what are we going to do when Fortes hits his first home run? He's really wasted no time tonight. Jumps all over the first pitch he sees, 413 feet. And flying around the bases. Now the best version of Sandy Alcantara has been on display for the last month and change. This will be his 30th start of the year, number 75 of his career. Well, he had 14 his last time, and that's his first tonight. Ground ball gets up on Jazz, but he sticks with it, makes the play. A 1 2 3 first inning for Sandy. Now, one ball and two strikes on Keyboom, who hits one in the air out to pretty deep right field, but the ballpark will hold it. Sanchez makes the play. Six up and six down for Sandy. The two seamer is really in on righties more than anything, trying to keep them honest. He's got himself. His second strikeout, another one, two, three inning for Sandy, who has looked fantastic again tonight. Three balls and two strikes. And two outs, and nobody on here in the fourth inning. Sandy at 45 pitches. And here it comes. A ground ball to first for Lewin Diaz. So they will keep a close eye on Sandy, who brings home a 3 2 pitch. And he got Bell to chase, 99. Third strikeout for Alcantara. Hell, he tried on back-to-back -back pitches. Got a check swing from Bell just the prior pitch at 99. Almost the exact same spot went up there again and felt like Bell would go after it. He did. A ground ball. Isan's got it. Sets his feet and gets the out. Five perfect innings so far for Sandy. Pop out to short for Ruiz his first time. Sharply hit. Jazz is there and loses his footing. And that is the first base runner for the Nationals tonight. See how they score that one. I love Jazz, but I kind of hope it's an error. Yeah, well, this ball hit pretty hard. A one hopper at Jazz kind of. Comes up and gets him at the belt. Once he lost his footing, really had no shot. 
at first. Three on the right side of the infield. Isan, the third baseman, swung around, playing more of a traditional double play depth second area. That one tipped and caught by Jackson. So another strikeout. That is four. It's just the wear and tear of a long season for a starting pitcher. You're talking 180 innings. And he gets the strikeout of Thomas. So he is through six innings. Nationals have had a base runner. That's been it. Dominated just like nothing happened. This one is softly popped shallow right for Sanchez to make the play. On base at a 568 clip last 16 games. And he has yet to reach base tonight as Sandy retires him and there are two outs in the seventh inning. Well I think this little sequence here you, you're going to you know obviously take you know full respect to Soto and Bell they're the two best hitters in this lineup but you're right I mean Juan Soto and he's the one who hit the liner. And Josh Bell over his head off the wall. Six and two thirds no hit innings for Sandy Alcantara. But he will not join the history books tonight. But splendid nonetheless. Well this is a breaking ball. And again I think this is probably respecting Bell as much as anything because we haven't seen too many breaking balls that have looked like that tonight. Another payoff pitch and he got him to chase. Strikeout number six for Sandy. He's through seven. He's given up a hit but he's still dominating the Nationals. Marlins have a one to nothing lead as we head to the eighth. And there's a strikeout of Keyboom. His seventh, and there's one down in the eighth. And he goes after the first one. Sends it high in the air out towards center, but De La Cruz is there, and on six pitches, Sandy gets through the eighth inning. On the sixth slider that he has seen in this at bat, unloads. The question was, did it have enough? Just enough. The answer is yes. Well, in that situation, you know, Lewin at a minimum needed to pull the ball to the right side. You wanted to get Sanchez over to third base and to continue to keep the pressure on. I thought Cool was doing him a favor by throwing him six consecutive sliders. Yeah, he knew he had it. And, and Cool knew he got it too. He was walking off the field 